Hello and welcome back to Robot Arena 2, Robot Wars Mod. Now the first thing I want to say is thank you so much for 200 subscribers, it really means a lot to me. Today is going to be the longest Robot Arena 2 video I've ever done to celebrate 200 plus subscribers. Okay, we're going to start things now with a classic battle from Robot Wars Extreme. Steel Avenger vs Tornado and King B Powerworks in the Studio Arena Series 7. Okay, here we go. Steel Avenger. Now in the real battle, Steel Avenger won. So let's see if uh, history can repeat itself. Get Tornado in the pit perhaps. No, I think I'm just going to get shoved around. Oh yes. Damage, we love it. Some good hits on Tornado and King B there. Whoa! He got thrown out of the arena. Didn't think King B was that powerful. I'm having real trouble self writing. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. They've really ganged up on me there. And I'm away. Oh. Come on. Shove. Push. I really want to get them in the pit. Oh, yes. Nearly. Tornado, maybe? No. Oh, so close. Never mind. Cause some damage. Oh, no, don't go against the wall again. Run away. Oh, King B, what are you doing? Get away. No! Well, that was very close again. I'm just rolling all over the place. Come on, Steel Avenger, you can do it. Oh, my casing's gone. Oh dear. This is bad. We've only got a minute left. The King B is swinging around the arena. Oh, another good hit on Tornado. More good hits. And King B as well getting damaged. Looks like the Tornado's stuck. Ah, he's away. I was hoping that he would get immobilized there. Hopefully I can get some shots on King B, maybe immobilize him. Now his armor's too tough. We're spinning around the flame pit. 20 seconds left to go in this battle. And no one immobilized, I'm surprised. I would have thought at least one of these machines would have been out. Probably me. Oh, careful of the arena flipper. Way. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the fight. Who won that? According to the judges, of course I did. Marvelous. Steel Avenger returns in this one, but I'm not playing as him this time. I'm using Lucid Dream, which is a robot that I think we saw for the first time in the last part. I've never used him before. Against Plunderbird 5 and Behemoth as well. And I'm going to use the Riverside Academy venue for this one. Okay, let's see what we can do with Lucid Dream. Not a lot, it seems. I'm already being damaged by the Steel Avenger. Plunderbird is on its back. No, I'm getting hit all over the place. What is going on? Why is this one so easy to destroy? The armament obviously doesn't work very well. Right, I'm coming in for an attack on the Behemoth. The Behemoth, uh, I suppose there's no other Behemoth, so that's perfectly fine grammar. In someone's world somewhere. In my little world. 
Right, let's head for the Plunderbird. Am I mobilized? I think I am, yes. Well, the armor is obviously rubbish on Lucid Dream. So, Behemoth now going after Plunderbird. Plunderbird out of the arena. He's getting really picked on there. Steel Avenger now feeling the wrath of Behemoth. But Steel Avenger is holding its own again, once again. <laughs> Just keeps. Oh! Wow! <laughs> the scoop of Behemoth tossed off that in the end. Poor old Steel Avenger. Pitted. Apparently still winning though. I don't think that's correct. Um, I'm pretty sure he went in the pit first. Okay, time for the Red Baron to make his first appearance in this episode against Noisy Cricket, Last Rites, and Sewer Snake. I don't think we've seen Noisy Cricket much or Sewer Snake. And I'm going to use the Series 1 arena for this one. Okay, let's go. Uh, stay away from Last Rites, I think. He will kill me quite easily. Sewer Snake, probably the weakest here. No, probably me, actually. I think, actually, the weakest might be the Noisy Cricket. Yeah, he's got an... Oh! Okay, Sewer Snake has gone, and so has Noisy Cricket. That was another strange havoc explosion happening there. Last Rites is going to kill me. I am smoking badly. Oh, run away. Run away. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well we all knew that was going to happen in the end. Last Rites, the well-deserving winner there. Okay, time for a Tag Team Terror with me as Beast with my teammate Beast 2 against Iron Ore 5 and Iron Ore 7. And I'm going to use the North Sea Oil Rig this time. It's just like being back in Arenas of Destruction. I've always loved this arena. But right now we've got two very dangerous flippers after us. Can the two beasts pull it off? Well, nearly. I nearly did there against number seven. It's unbelievable there are so many iron ores. I mean, iron ore seven. Oh, there we go, my teammate getting rid of number five. I mean, how do you make that many robots? I think it's amazing. I don't have the time to make one half the time. Because I am going to build one one of these days. Now, Beast 2 seems to be doing a lot better than Beast 1. I think that's because I'm driving Beast 1. Careful of that drill though. That was risky, I just <laughs> drove under the drill. Can't see where I am. I can flip my own opponent, my, uh, my teammate. Oh, what's up with you? Why aren't you going anywhere? Do you think Beast 2 is more powerful than the original? Because it does seem to be. Oh, you're mashing him! Mashing him in the drill! I've never really seen that happen in this game. Someone get hit by that drill. And of course in the original game, Pussycat, you're able to actually shove him down that hole. We need our efforts combined to flip him over the edge, I'm sure. Oh, actually, I saw some sparks. He must be nearing the end of his health. Come on, Seven. I just can't seem to get him out. 40 seconds left. Oh, getting near that drill again. Oh, apparently, he's immobilized. I still can't get him over the wall now. I'd really like to, though. Come on. 
Yes! There we go! Okay, a one-on-one -on -one battle now, with me as Megabyte against Typhoon 2. I'd usually drive Typhoon 2, but uh, the flag on the top that you can see here doesn't appear, which means I can't see which way I'm going. So, Megabyte it is. I've never driven this one before. And I'm going to use, I believe this is the EB Games Arena? Yes, Robot Wars at EB Games. It's an arena that I don't normally use. And a robot too. Megabyte. I wonder how much damage this can actually do. A lot it seems. Oh. You know, this is what I don't like about full body spinners. You're never really sure which way they're going. Even with that great big pipe. It's not easy to tell. And they turn around too easy. I think I'm better just ramming into him and not the wall which is what I seem to be doing right now oh no come on don't do that to me I think he's gonna end up out in the arena in a minute with or without my help oh yes there we go Megabyte, I really like this one. Okay, another tag team request, but it's slightly different than what was asked for because I was asked to use a modified version of Maelstrom so that it was more powerful than the standard one. Unfortunately, I can't do that with this machine because it would mean removing some panels to get to it. So I'm just going to be using a normal Maelstrom with Manta against Cherub, and it was supposed to be Saint, but again, I can't find the robot Saint in here. Uh, I should have done a bit of research before to find out where it is. So I'm just going to use Gabriel. I hope that's okay. So Maelstrom and Manta against Cherub and Gabriel. And I'm going to use the abandoned subway. Now I don't often use this subway. Uh, because the camera was bad before. But now I've got the new camera mod installed. It seems to work pretty well. Oh dear. This is not going to end well for me. I'm already down. Oh, and Gabriel just drove off and Manta. Okay, I think we need a restart on this one. Okay, now I'm not explaining a camera, perhaps I'll drive. Okay, where am I? I'm over here now. Let's try and get underneath Cherub. That's one of the most difficult things to do in this game. Oi! I get flipped by my own teammate far too much in this. Why am I so near the edge? I don't want to be near the edge. Cherub is amazing for what it is. They're just It hasn't really got much in the way of offensive weaponry, but what it has got is extremely effective. Will you stop flipping me? Good grief, I'm your teammate. What are you doing? Oh, I've got him. I've got Cherub there. I had him on me. Now this is a much better fight. Oh, he flipped over me there. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to push him to the tracks. I'm not getting much in the way of grip. Oh, what a flip though. Got a minute 40 left on the clock. So, still plenty of time to push both these guys off. Here goes one of them. No, yes, yes. Cherub has gone. So, now we're left with Gabriel. Hmm. Not going to be an easy one to get off this guy, is he? I think I got in the way there. I think Manta was doing just fine and then I got in the way. That's annoying. Oh, there we go. I've done it. He flipped me again. Right, that's it. I've had it with you, mate. 
Get off. Okay, time for a crazy what if battle. What if Shunt was cloned twice and set against Last Rites? Well, I can pretty much predict what's going to happen. Absolute madness. And I'm going to do this one in the Octagon. Okay, here we go. Last Rites. This, oh dear, this is the wrong arena to choose. Oh dear. This is the wrong arena to do this in, I think. It was requested that I use this arena. But, yeah, this is not going to go well, is it? No, there's nothing I can do. Oh, Shunt pushing Shunt into the pit. Oh. Hmm. Well, this definitely didn't go well. I think I will try this in another arena. Because I've had it. Whoops, there we go. And that's the end of that. It's gonna be a rough ride. Well, it is for Shunt, anyway. A very rough ride. Okay, well the shunts actually seem to be fighting themselves. I can't do a three on one unfortunately. Right, uh, I need to drive away so I can spin up. Okay, I'm getting up to my maximum speed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But hey, we're, subs we're uh, celebrating 200 subscribers here so we might as well mess around a bit. And have a bit of fun. Oh no, don't turn over. No! Oh dear. This has gone bad. This has gone very bad. We're back. Oh, a bit of shunt has come off there. Well, number one. Should we call that one number one? Um, which one's number two? I have no idea. We'll wait until we chop another bit off and then we can identify. Oh no, we got two number ones. We got two <laughs> with the same damage. I honestly don't know how I'm going to actually win this because there's just so much opposition here. And they don't seem to die that quick. I have to turn the blade off sometimes so I can run away. Yeah. It's, oh, it makes me very unstable sometimes, as it does in real life. Hitting someone with a bar spinner can be very costly, not just to the opponent. Oh, there goes another scoop and a wheel. Joe, this camera is not doing me any favors, is it? That's not either. There we are. Uh, is this any better? Whoa! There goes a wheel. Oh, I don't want to keep hitting things that are on the floor. It makes me spin around madly. Oh! Another good hit. Oh! What was that? This shunt must be getting nearly immobilized. Oh, that's no good. I wouldn't stand here, this uh, camera says. I can understand that. I wouldn't either. Oh, I've immobilized one! So after all that, I only immobilized one of them. But of course, look at the damage. Wow, that is incredible. Well, I finally found Saint. It's in the wrong team entirely. So maybe next time I'll, I will repeat the request that um, I had before and I'll use Saint this time. Okay, time for another tag team terror. Me as Explosion 2 with Eruption against Beauty 8 and Beast. So we've got the featherweight and heavyweight versions of them both. And this one's going to be done in the ring arena.
quite easy to flip robots out in this one. Okay. Let's go. I'll go I'll go for the little one, of course. Me being the little robot. Explosion. I'll go after Beauty 8. Oh! Oh, well, that's uh, the end of Beast already. Oi! What is it with the heavyweights on my team? In fact, you know, they go after me all the time. I'm going to go after mine. My heavyweight teammate. Get out of here. He's done the job. There we go. That's got rid of him. Okay, to end the video, the Red Baron returns for a flipping frenzy against Dystopia, Hades and Cassius 3. We haven't seen Cassius 3 much, or Hades. And we're going to do this one in the Electric Arena. Or Electric Arena 2. Yeah, I like this one. You can flip them over the fence into this electric pit. Welcome to the Electric Arena 3. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. With the wiggly eyed Red Baron. Getting too near to the wall already. Oh! Dystopia has gone. Oh! He was back for a second. Oh dear, the camera. This is not going well. Ah, Hades, why? Right, I've got Cassius. I got rid of Cassius! Hades is getting rid of me! The camera's gone mad, right? Okay, changing back to normal camera views. The action camera. <laughs> oh, this is crazy! Why don't I use this arena more often? Hades? Hades in trouble? Oh, I just missed. Oh, there's a bit of dystopia. I wonder if there's a better camera view. No, it doesn't seem to be. This is this is the camera view we've got to use. Hades is going to flip me out if I'm not careful. Oh, there's a bit of... That is Cassius, I think. Oh, dear. Maybe if now they're immobilised, the uh, other camera will work better. Yes! Yes, we did it! We did it. Oh, there's a wheel. The wheel just hanging around. Hey, I flipped the wheel. Precision flipping going on here. Oh, blimey, look at the st <laughs> Oh, this arena is crazy. I really need to do more with this. And there we go, the Red Baron winning the Flipping Frenzy. Look at the scores! Minus! They've all gone into the minus! Okay, that just about wraps this video up, guys. Tune in next time where hopefully I'll have more fantastic suggestions from you guys for battles. Once again, I want to thank you for 200 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing to me how this channel has come along. Hopefully I will have a lot more gameplay of this game and loads of other games that I haven't even tried yet. I want to get back to World of Warships as well. The Joy of Creation will be back as well as more BMG Drive and Homebrew. So once again, thank you for 200 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.